Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Finally, the last one. Last class, right? So, how are you feeling today? ¿Cómo se sienten? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no? Afligida, nerviosa, angustiada, nerviosa. todo. Wow. No, 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 ¿Por qué? Fíjate. No puede ser. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Ustedes son las que se quieren complicar la vida. When you realize how easy this exam you're going to laugh about it. Because, um, Estarando buscando el lapicero, porque no sé por qué en mis carteras no ando lapicero. Pero me voy a la número 20. La número 20, sí. Sí. <risa> Permítanme, chiquillos. Uh, maybe this one will work. Permítanme, chicos. Es increíble, guys. I mean, I'm in the university already. Entré a la universidad. Yo no iba a comprar cuadernos. Yo no iba a comprar nada de la universidad. So I'm kind of like. Mm. Okay, guys. Perfect. So, welcome back. Uh, right now, we are just going to start with the last one. Because today you finished the level. Um, just a couple. I'm going to give a couple instructions to start. As you already know, I'm going to make a test today regarding all the things that we have been see watching and seeing during the course, right? As you already know. Also, guys, uh, because today you finish, you're going to have that little test, as I told you, two, two, two parts. Half of the class is going to be um, the exam for five questions. We are going to use part of the 20 questions that I gave you yesterday. And the other part is going to be like the speaking, and I'm going to be here writing everything, okay? And giving you my feedback, how you felt with the classes with you and everything. So, ¿cómo voy a manejarlo? <coughs> Sorry. How I'm going to manage this. Uh, I'm going to be sending you in, into breakup rooms because I want to give you the opportunity to, to study with your classmates too. And I'm going to be introduced, I'm going to be getting into the breakup rooms. And I'm going to be, okay, me meto al breakup room de la sala número uno. Y empiezo y les pregunto a los cinco. De ahí me salgo y ustedes tienen chance de seguir practicando, comentando y demás. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Eso es, chicos, para que no sientan el nervio de que están solos conmigo. ¿Ok? So, ahí okay. creo que ese es más en confianza y se dan el chance de que en todo lo que yo pues estoy hablando de sus otros compañeros, ustedes están estudiando y practicando. ¿Ok? So, I'm going to start with that. I'm just going to wait two more minutes until... I'm going to start at 7.05. And I think that I will be finishing before 7.30, actually, because it's pretty fast. Como les dije, van a tener 10 segundos para contestar. ¿Ok? Porque por eso ayer les di el chance del cuestionario y todo. Y ayer me preguntaron mis otros alumnos que cómo iba a saber yo que no estaban utilizando el cuestionario. So, cuando les estoy hablando, me van a poner las manos así para saber de que no tienen los papeles en las manos. ¿Ok? So, it's going to be like this. Y como voy a estar, van a estar con camera, So I'm going to be watching y me voy a dar cuenta de que están leyendo, right? Y si me doy cuenta que están leyendo o que tienen el cuestionario abierto, pues yo suspendo su examen. Porque a mí no me interesa ahorita el hecho de que lo estén leyendo, sino el hecho de que de verdad ver si aprendimos o no. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que me importa ahí. Si, no me, si me pueden decir una de las cinco, pero es de verdad por su esfuerzo, yo me voy a sentir satisfecha con eso. ¿Ok? So I'm going to ask you to put the hands like that when I'm evaluating you so I can know that you don't have anything in your hands and I'm going to be watching your face the whole time. So and later, I'm going to ask you for the minute of feedback and also I'm going to show you. I will have here the chronometer so I can count the time. 
Okay, so I hope that you practice before any, uh, I, everything, okay? So I wanna know if you have any question or anything regarding what I just said. Any question, Um, anything that you wanna say before we start with all the, uh, the exam thing? Nadia, no hay preguntas? No hay preguntas? No. Okay, todo está claro, bien? Good. So, I will be creating the breakup rooms. Okay, I will create four breakup rooms. Maybe some of your classmates will be join and I will be adding or creating another, okay? So, uh, let's go guys and let's get ready. Okay, guys, so you're the first ones. Perfect. So, ready? Yes? Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? ¿Quién quiere comenzar de ustedes? Ahorita sería con... Okay, I'm going to start with Angelica. Okay, Angelica, voy a comenzar. Son cinco preguntas. Easy. Okay, ready? ¿Lista? Uh, yes. ¿Sí? Okay. Raise your hands, please, so I can know. Estoy nerviosa. Don't worry. That helps you too, actually. Yo cuando estoy en los exámenes en la U y nos ponen a hacer eso, yo hasta le hago así para que me baje el nervio. So don't worry. It's going to be pretty easy, okay? So, Angelica, number one, meaning of the verb to be? Yes. Ser o estar. Ser, estar o. Ser, estar, ser, estar o. Ok. Ok. Um... Ok. Tell me three parts of your house. Tell me three parts of your house. Windows. Three parts, parte de la casa. Ah, oh, parte de la casa. Cook. Mm -hmm. Cook. Um... Okay. Oh. Tell me one. WH question in any time. One WH question. Sería WH. Un ejemplo. Un ejemplo. Primero el WH. Una, una pregunta, un ejemplo. ¿No? no. Ok. Next one. Tell me the difference between do and does. Sería... Do is usel quit. Uh, personal pronombres, pronouns, digamos, I, I, we, you, they. Oh, podría ser también is, we, the personal. Okay. Uh, el do sería en plural, sería una persona, y do sería para tres. Tercera persona. Tercera. Sí, okay. Okay. And tell me five. Tell me the four seasons. Repeat. 
four seasons. No. No? Okay. Bien, Angelica. You know, okay, just try to memorize a little bit more. Trata de memorizarte un poquito más y no ponerte nerviosa. Okay, porque vaya, de do it does, sí tenías la idea. Solamente que creo que me lo trataste de formular en inglés. Entonces, cuando lo trataste de formular en inglés, se trabaste. Okay? Y relacionado al verb to be, ser, estar o parecer. Okay? Good. Thank you. Eduardo, let's go with you. Ready? Eduardo? You're muted. Estás muteado. Oh, sorry, sorry, teacher. Okay. <laughs> I don't have my, my microphone. Okay, perfect. Number one. Tell me your, no, tell me five abilities. Five abilities. Um, I can swimming in the pool. I can ride my bike for a long way. I can eat all kind of food. <laughs> I remember that, I, yeah. I, I can running in the morning every day. And I, I can uh, I can read a book for a Good. long time. Good. Meaning of the verb to be. Uh, verb to be is like it's like a meaning traduction um, uh, for for me. Uh, uh, no, no quiero el uso, quiero el meaning, la traducción. The, the meaning, ah, es, 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 es el verbo ser o, o estar. Ser o estar? Is ser o estar. Okay, next one. Tell me three parts from your house. Yep. Three parts from your house. Uh, I in my house, I have two bedroom, uh, one chicken, one dining room. Okay, thank you. There you go. Tell me one characteristic from a yes no question. Mm, an example. Characteristic. Una característica. Oh, characteristic. Okay, sorry. Um. Uh, uh, dot con y um, uh, age uh, in this in this in this in this statement require require uh, information at addition addition additional yes no question oh, okay sorry yes no question um, is is uh, begin uh, with with do or does yeah, um in, in, the, in the answer is only yes or no good perfect and tell me one uncountable noun one uncountable noun mm, rice okay good just verb to be ser estar o parecer oh ser estar o parecer oh uh -huh, tanto le voy a dejar las planas <laughs> otherwise Eduardo pretty good you understood okay so pretty okay. good, thank you. Okay. Zulma. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Ready. Okay. Zulma. Tell me one uncountable noun. Uh, tea. Sugar. One. Okay. Fry. Thank you. Only that. Thank you. Tell me one characteristic from a yes/no question. Uh, yes, no question. For example, the first person I can use do, and third person I can use does or doesn't. And the, the okay, good. Tell me one example in simple present. Uh, I eat pupusas every day. Good. Tell me one WH question in any tense. Okay, what do you do in your free time? Good, amazing. And last one, tell me 
the difference between you and us? The difference, uh, the, the do I can use for fear person uh, it, uh, and does I can use for 30 person. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Zulma. You got 10. So pretty okay. good job. Okay, amazing. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Bien, gracias, chicos. Ya lo vengo a ver otro rato. Ahorita pueden chismear y todo. Uh, how's it? Yo le Fácil. puse a house has a yard, garden, or pools in other Hello, space. hello, I'm here, I'm here already, okay? Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Yo. Okay, Karina, let's go. Tell me three parts from your house. Uh, a living room, mm -hmm. um, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Good. Two, meaning of the verb to be. Um, meaning uh, to be or to be, ser o estar. Ser? Ser o estar. Next to one. be or to be. Mm -hmm. Next one, tell me one uncountable noun. Uh, oil. Oil? Oil, milk. Okay. Uh, gas. Good. Tell me the difference between do and does. Uh, between uh, do, do uh, is for um, pronoun personal, uh, I, we, you, they. And does is for she, he, it. Okay, good. And last pronoun one. Personal. What? Tell me one simple present statement. Um, she is tall. Okay. Uh, he is... Thank you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. bien. Error con la número dos, ser, estar o parecer. Se la dije en clase toda la vida. Ser, estar ser, o parecer, el meaning del verb to be. Ah, y con la última okay. te dije simple present. I have, you have. I have, see, I see. Okay, so thank okay, you, Karina. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with Pablo. Pablito. Ya puedo sacarme la cara. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Pablo, me. let's go with you. Tomaré agua, mis. Okay, go, go. okay. Ready? Yes? Yes, yes. Number one. Tell me one characteristic from a yes-no question. Eh, quiero ver has a, a rising intonation in, in the end of the question. Okay, good. Pablo, poneme las manos así. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> yes, no, keep it like that, actually. <laughs> okay, mantengámoslas así. Bien. Yo lo voy a tener. Ajá, cabal. Ajá, pero así de lejito. De lejito de la cámara. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tell me the difference between an apartment and a house. Uh, the house has a yard, a gardens, and a pool, bueno, and a other space. Okay. Tell me one simple present statement. I have hungry. Which one? I have hungry. Mm, okay. Next one. I do my I do my homework. Okay, good. Next one. Tell me. Mm, wait a second. Tell me for the four seasons. Winter. 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 No. No. Permítame. Winter. No, se me olvidaron mis. Okay. Para eso, lo winter, me acuerdo. Okay. Next one. Tell me three abilities that you have. Mm. Uh, I can play soccer with my left leg. I can... Tiene que ser así bien especiales. O las no. que le dije la vez pasada. Whatever. I can... Eat a full pizza, le dije la vez mm -hmm. pasada, alone, okay. and I can run very fast. 
Okay, perfect, Pablo. Just that one. The seasons, okay? Es la única. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, pretty good job, okay? Thank you. Thanks. Eh, Lucía. Um, <laughs> tell, me, mal. tell me the four seasons. The four seasons. Um, de las estaciones, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. eh, summer, winter, uh, fall, parece que. Mm -hmm. Um, el otro se me olvidó. Okay. Tell me one WH question. Una. Una. Um, where do you live? Okay. Tell me one yes, no question. Um, no question. Yes, no question. Una. Yes, no question. Mm. Yes, no question. I miss. Okay. Do you do you like um? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next honest. one. Meaning of the verb to be. Uh, the verb to be. Ser, estar, um, ay, no me acuerdo de los otros dos. Okay. Last one. Tell me one ability that you have. Mm, una habilidad. Um, I like, um, Quiero como se dice. No, okay. I like, I like, no. I like, porque quiero ser persistente. No, okay. Bien, Lucía. Meaning of the verb to be, ser, estar o parecer. En la primera te voy a dar medio punto porque solo te faltó spring. Y en esta sí, me dijiste I like, yes, I can, porque es una habilidad. Ay, okay, okay. Otherwise, good job. Ruth, vamos contigo. Sí. Tell me the meaning of the verb to be. Um, to be, ser, estar, o parecer. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Um, the answer, the WH question is uh, information learned. Okay. Tell me one WH question. Um, where are you from? Good. Tell me one part from your house. Um, bedroom. Okay. And tell me one uncountable now. Rice. Okay, thank you, Ruth. Ten, pretty good. Gracias, chicos. Teacher, teacher. Pero, pero ya está en, en, los, en los season. La palabra atum también es, es otoño. Autumn, yes. Autumn. 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 Y de las dos yes. formas lo podemos decir. Far sí, y autumn. Okay. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you house. Hello. No se preocupen, pregunté y sacaron 10 todos, oigan. Todos, ok, good. Para uh -huh. Ok, so let's start with Majo. No. Uh, yeah. no, no. <laughs> ok, Majo, let's go. Tell me one WH question. ¿Qué? Tell me one WH question, an example. Ah. Um, what is your favorite food? Good. Tell me one characteristic from a yes no question. Uh, the yes no question clear answers. Good. Tell me three uncountable nouns. Okay. Bread, mm -hmm. cake, mm -hmm. rice. Good. Um, yeah. Okay. Tell me. One I know me cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me one simple present statement. One. I one simple. I same uh, simple present. I no me recuerdo más. Okay. Tell me the, okay. Meaning of the verb to be. Ser, estar o parecer. Good. Okay. 
Thank you, Majo. Solo con el simple present statement. For example, I do my homework. I walk every day. I eat. Ok, good. Thank you, Majo. Pretty good job. Ok, te felicito. Súper bien. Y así las agarraste. So, pretty good job. Gracias a la compañera Michelle que me ayuda a reposarme. Eso. Bien, vamos con, vamos con Michi. Ok, Michi, ready? Ok, teacher. Ready. <laughs> Tell me one part from your house. Uh, living room. Tell me one. Yes, no question. Uh, No? Uh, do... No. <laughs> okay. Tell me one countable now. Countable. Okay. Um, yeah. Shoes. Shoes? Yes. Okay. Tell me the three irregular verbs in simple present. Uh, do, go, have. Good. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Uh, three questions. Good. Thank you, Michi. Solo la segunda. Keep working on that, okay? Pretty good. Thank you. Uh, David? Hello. Hello. Meaning of the verb to be? Mm. Repeat. Meaning of the verb to be? Mm -hmm. Meaning. No? no. Next one. Tell me the four seasons. <laughs> Next one. Tell me three abilities that you have. Yes. Mm, try a bike. Mm -hmm. Play the guitar. Mm, and play basket. Good. Um, tell me one simple present example. Yes. Same. Get. Okay. Mm, give it. Tell me your last name. Ventura. Good. Okay. Tenemos que repasar más, okay? Tenemos que seguir repasando porque hay palabritas que sí se te están olvidando. Hay temas que se te están olvidando. So we have to work on that. Otherwise, pretty good job. Right, thank you. Eh, Lucy y Jessica, ¿pueden hablar, chicas? Sí. Yo sí puedo, solo que como hay ruidos de mi bebé porque está enfermo. Ok, ah, pues tranquila, ok, al final yo regreso contigo. Tranquila. Ok, tranquila. Thank you. Thank you guys, pretty good job. Ya, re ya los regreso, ok. Good job. Hello. Ok, the camera guys, please. Bien. Vamos, eh, Fati, vamos, voy a comenzar contigo. Yes. Tell me three abilities that you have. Do you have? Aquí tengo. Uh, empire, eh, responsibility y confianza. Trust, okay. Meaning of the verb to be. No. Eh, ser, estar, parecer. Three parts from your house. Uh, living in the bedroom, uh, bathroom, um, living room. Good. Tell me one WH question. What? Me dijo, dime la Ah, un ejemplo. Uh, what is your favorite color? Tell me one simple present example. I I room in no 
my room to my house. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Ten, pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Erika. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Meaning of the verb to be. Eh, ser, estar y parecer. Tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Um, the answer can be free, like a long answer. Good. Tell me the four seasons. Uh, spring, winter, summer, and fall. Good. Uh, Tell me one characteristic from a yes, no question. Uh, you just have uh, two options, uh, two possibilities, yes and not. Amazing. And last one, tell me one uncountable noun. Uh, right. Okay, thank you, Erika. Ten, pretty good. Uh, Sulma. Ten. Teacher, accidentalmente, estoy aquí. Ya lo hice. <laughs> El que. Ah, sí, cierto, ya lo hiciste. Cierto, cierto, perdón. Sonia. Sí. Sonia, meaning of the verb to be. The verb to be. Eh, is. No, meaning. Am, I am. No, meaning. Significado, traducción. Ser, estar o parecer. Tell me your last name. Last name. Oh, my last name. Um, no veamos, Rosales. No veamos el cuaderno. Ajá, no veamos Rosales, el cuaderno. Corina. Okay. Next one. Tell me one WH question. Un ejemplo. Um, what are you doing? Tell me three parts from your house. Um, yard, um, bathroom, um, cochera, no me acuerdo cómo dice, cochera, pero, um, bedroom. Okay, and last one, tell me one thing that you never do. Nunca. Mm -hmm. Never like, no, I like, no sé, que nunca puedo comer eh, pacaya. Okay, I never what? Nunca ver, nunca ver algo así, me está diciendo, creo okay. yo. Done, okay, solo con esa última. I never eat papa eat papaya. You could say that, okay? Otherwise, pretty good job. Thank you, Sonia. Super bien, okay? Estamos bien. Eh, quiero ver, de aquí me falta Carla. Hi, Miss. Hi. Okay, tell me one characteristic from a WH question. Um, that they have always a large question. Ask? No. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Sí, verdad. Number two. Siempre... <laughs> Perdón. Number two. Tell me three things that are in your house regarding furniture. Um, couch, table, um, bed. Okay. Tell me the meaning of the verb to be. And they are complement of a statement? No, meaning, traduction. No. Ah, la traducción. Pero no es el is there you... El no. verbo to be, ajá, ¿cuál es la traducción? El verbo de ser, estar. ¿Ser, estar? Y, ay, se me olvidó la otra. Ok, next one. Okay. Tell me the difference between a house and an apartment? A house has stairs, yard, and second plant. Apartment 
has um, elevator, um, don't have second plant, and, and um, um, they are in in the high. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Last one. <laughs> Tell me the four seasons. Uh, I don't mean autumn, uh -huh. uh, summer, winter, and I no me acuerdo la última. Okay. Bien. Eh, ok, Carla, pretty good. Solo cuando el verb to be. Ser, estar o parecer. Ok. Ah, okay. Otherwise, pretty good job. Thank you, okay. girls. Ahora sí, ya vamos a te regreso, ¿sí? Ok. Bien. Vamos a te regreso ya. Teacher, falta yo. Miss, le faltó un compañero, José Luis. Oh, pero es que no me salía la cámara. Mm, no, de lo que dije ah, ayer. Sí, es verdad, es verdad, sí, tiene razón. Yes. Porque no me reportaron nada. So, the issue is that I need to see the camera, as I told you. Right? Era yeah, you have the reason. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect, guys. So, thank you so much. I'm just going to wait for them to come back. I have like 20 minutes, so I want to hear your feedback. I'm not going to be pretty strict regarding that. However, I want to congratulate you because most of you did a very good job. I know that sometimes you get anxious or frustrated about the things. So I understand that, right? Yo entiendo eso, de que a veces se ponen nerviosos, que se ponen así. Pero tratemos siempre la manera de, pues, ustedes lo saben, okay? Porque algunos me decían la idea. Y yo entendía que sí lo sabía, okay? So pretty good job with that, okay? Uh, how are we gonna do with the minute of talking? Eh, voy a ir diciendo tal persona, tal persona, tal persona. Si la repito, me disculpan, okay? Y voy a escuchar su feedback in English. Si alguien no lo tiene en inglés, por favor, me dice en este momento si alguien no lo preparó. Y lo podemos leer. It was not the idea. But I will let you. I will let you. It's fine. No, no, no. ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ahorita van a hacer su minuto hablado de su feedback. Pablo, dime. Ah, que yo le decía que no me quedó chance de hacer eso. Yo no lo hice tampoco. Yo no lo hice. Ni yo, mi. Teacher. No la quieren, mis perros. Yo sí lo hice. Sí, Majo lo va a leer. Por eso le voy a dar chance que lo lea. Teacher. Sí. Can I see the man idea for this? Yes, speech? it's fine. You're going to be okay. able to read it, guys. Lo pueden leer, okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. So, eh, bien. Me dijeron que Pablo no lo hizo. Lucía tampoco lo hizo. Me too. José Luis tampoco lo hizo. ¿Quién más no lo hizo? Me too. Yo, teacher. Yo tampoco, mi. Okay. So el recomiendo que. Me... Pero que el recomiendo que ahorita que tienes que. Así que ahí ya pasa lo de todas formas, mi. No problem, is. lo puedo leer de todas Empezamos formas. a escribirlo ahorita, entonces, get ready. Miss, pero ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Pues? Es el minuto de feedback que les dije ayer. Ayer pero no estuvieron pues, en clase. Es ¿No? que la última parte se escuchó cortado. No comprendo. Ay, no pregunté es que... porque no me preguntaron. Yo lo que entendí Ay, porque yo pregunté. Se miraba enojada. Se, se, se miraba enojada, como así. Yo pregunté en el grupo y me dijeron de qué es. Un minuto para decir qué fue lo que más le gustó en todo el proceso de este módulo. Sí, por ejemplo, lo podían usar tipo, ¿qué opinan del módulo? ¿Qué le gustó? ¿Qué no le gustó? O sea, tal vez no directamente hacia mi persona, pero relacionado a su aprendizaje, cómo sintieron, aprendimos, no aprendimos, mis expectativas se cumplieron, no se cumplieron, yo quisiera esto, bla, 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 whatever you want. ¿Ok? So, okay. let's start with Sonia. ¿Sol? No, no lo he terminado, teacher. Ok, Karim, Majo. Let's start with Majo. She's ready. So, let's go, Majo. Ready, ready. Carlita, 
Manuel ya quiere pasar y ah, Manuel Eduardo también, ya. No, que Manuel pase primero, él es más rápido que yo. Ok, Eduardo, let's go. Ok, ok. My opinion about this course. In my opinion, this course have an, uh, have an excellent teacher. The class was interactive in every moment and I enjoy it. The class and the examples were according to the subject. I learned English in this time. I think the English is an inter interesting language for use. And I, I am grateful with the teacher for sharing her knowledge and time. In the, in the course, there was always hunger <laughs> every day. <laughs> and, I, and I tried to solve it. I enjoyed this part. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Manuel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Everyone. guys, that is true. I think that he says. But what we had homeworks basically every day. And the English is a pretty interesting uh language. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And you made an amazing job with me. I appreciate that you always try to participate. You let me know when you had issues. So I appreciate that. Pretty good job. Thank you. Uh, now, yes, Mauro, it's, it's your time. Ahora sí. Me estoy escribiendo en el traductor. <laughs> no me tira a mí. No va a leer. This module has been difficult to, to the schedule, but it has been rewarding because it's learning more vocabulary. I like it having Miss Vanessa. Uh, because it shows that young people are capable uh, of teaching and understanding other people. And this model leaves me experience that I am capable of learning English with effort. And thanks to the teacher and the classmates who, who were in the process. Thank you, Maho. I appreciate it a lot. And I know that maybe it was kind of difficult for you because as you told me, um, Fridays when you had issues or something like that. Um, however, I really appreciate that you were here on time and you told me when you had issues, teacher, this, teacher, I have this, I cannot do it. But when you were able to do it, you made it. So that is so good. And I saw your effort during the model. So thank you for that. Okay. Thank you. Bien. Uh, ¿Quién más? Karina, let's go. Muteada. ¿Estás muteada? ¿Me escucha? Ahora sí. ¿Hola? Ok. ¿Sí? Eh, how do you say eh, método? Method. Method. In my opinion, the method uh, you use is is very good. A little stressful because I not understand when you speak, but it helps me to make and and esforzarme, no sé, and it, it force, no sé, for, uh, to study to study every day and I, I am much muy agradecida, no sé, eh, for your help for me. Thank you, teacher. God bless you. God bless you too and thank you so much. Te valoro mucho tu esfuerzo y te valoro mucho que te mataba, ¿verdad? Y que preguntaste y todo. So that is the thing. And you have to keep doing that. Okay, so thank you so much. I appreciate it too. ¿Quién más? Angélica. Angélica. Ya. En lo personal, I am looking forward to English because I want to learn 
Uh, and I also like the teacher that they live in Modulo 2 because the method of teaching is very different, occupies several the model, the methodologies. And I like it that since we practice when it lives, we start and that we seem out there we are practicing good greeting and reading and that helps us to better in the city the grammar the meaning of some words and to have a better pronunciation also with the leaves who's practicing with all temas that help us a lot. So I think it's very nice to thank the teacher. Okay, thank you, Angelica. I really appreciate it. And I want to congratulate you because I know yo sé que tú me diste literalmente todas las tareas, literally, all of them. And I saw your improvement, y tu mejora, during the whole model, right? I saw your improvement regarding the speaking, pronunciation, and that's what I told you. When you start to feel comfortable, you're going to make it by yourself. So thank you so much. I appreciate it too. Thank you. ¿Quién más? Mm -hmm. No. Yo tengo Can algo, <laughs> es corto. A ver, Ahorita ahí, vea. Uh, I like a lot. I learn uh, a new words and I improve my listening. Uh, it was an excellent mo model. Model seria or model, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Miss. I have no words. Hasta ahí. Okay, thank you, Pablo. <laughs> I appreciate that. Aunque no te metías a veces a las clases, right? But I appreciate sí, that you mis... always, always send me the homework, right? And that is good <laughs> because I know that you know, uh, you know, you know about the level. So uh, that is good because like, that's an, as an advantage, as I told you since, since the beginning, and you have good comprehension. So that is amazing, okay? And I appreciate your work. So I like that you like the model and you get more vocabulary. So thank you. ¿Quién thank más? You, Yo, teacher. A ver, Sonia. Y luego, luego Lari. Ok, espérame, espérame. Primero Pero Sonia, tampoco. Lari y luego Carla. Y luego Erika. Um, it was a very productive course for me. I talk at the beginning, the teacher surprised my because she was going very fast. But the teaching yes. method with with okay. tax and participation help me help me to understand more the teacher help me me to be more with confianza no sé cómo se dice thank you teacher Vanessa thank you Sonia the surprise for the teacher right <laughs> yeah sí creo que lo sorprendió un poquito que era la locura so <laughs> Yes, thank you. And I like that you feel comfortable and trust in me. And I saw. Es lo que yo te decía. Tú me decías, no, teacher, pero es que no sé. Pero ahí está tu examen. Y tú solita ahora te diste cuenta que sí aprendiste y te sabías las cosas. Right? Gracias. So that Gracias is por thing. darme confianza. That is the thing. O sea, lo que yo te, tú me decías desde un principio, teacher, pero es que yo no puedo. Teacher, es que a mí me cuesta. Pero ahí está la prueba Miss? con tu examen. Miss? Sí. Ah, lo que yo escribí es poquito, pero... Ok, ok, wait, 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 permitime. Después, okay. va después de Erika, porque van en orden, ok? Ok, ok. So, thank you, Sonia, for that. And congratulations for it, ok? Ahora sí, Larry. Miss, yo también escribí poquito. A ver, ay, escribí todo poquito. Menos vale un minuto, right? <laughs> my feedback is that this model, I learned in my, many in terms of grammar. Um, I told, I... I know that I have a long way to get to master the topic. I am satisfied with my progress. I thank the Miss for leaving us that, that, that in a way helped us a lot, making our recording area to help with pronunciation. 
you have an amazing pronunciation. I told you since the beginning, right? That you had that. And I told you to take that as an advantage and you already have the listening and comprehension. So that is good because you were able to improve grammar in my point of view. And that is the thing. So if you already have that ability, take it as an advantage because you're getting better with that. Okay, so appreciate it. Thank you. Carla. Hi, Miss. I want to say thank you so much for everything I learned a lot from you in class and with the homeworks. It's an excellent method and I learned new words and I'm so happy to to you give us the the model and that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. I tell you that also you already have the level, right? So I know that you know, and I want to congratulate you because you didn't act like I already know. Because you always ask questions, you try to participate when you were able to do it, and you also tell me, teacher, I cannot do it today, sorry. So I'll take that again as an advantage for you. Keep working on grammar skills, and you're going to be amazing on that. So I appreciate it. Thank you, Carlita. Uh, Thank you. Bye. Good night. Uh, I'm so, I would like to share this with you. I'm so happy because I learned a lot during this module. It, it was so, so funny, so participate, and also so productive for me. And I would like to share this with you. Uh, yesterday when we were when we were reading the paragraph uh, I understand a lot of the words that are in this paragraph on that paragraph and it was uh, less words that I don't know <laughs> what are and this made me feel so happy and also so interested to finish this model and to continue working with uh, with this with the language and i'm so thankful with you just that thank you because uh again i think that you already know a lot regarding the language maybe sometimes you feel like i already know this but you practice and you send the homework you are like teacher hi this is my homework if you have any feedback let me know so that is good right that is pretty good because you tell me what you felt what you learned and even when you already know, guys, and you tell me I learned this thing, it's good. Because even little things that I can add to you are better, right, and are good. So thank you, Eric. I really appreciate it. And it was a big pleasure, too. Okay, thank you. Uh, Lucy? Está muteada. Okay. Uh, my opinion this small is that we have an excellent teacher. She has a very good way of teaching. The bad thing is that time does not allow us to work with more dedication. But the method you use is very good. And I thank you very much. God bless you meeting her and having her uh, as a teacher. Okay, thank you, and God bless you too, by the way, okay? Thank you, thank uh, Lucia, you. congratulations, because yo sé que muchas veces igual tuviste issues con el trabajo y no te podías conectar y todo, but I appreciate that you were able, when you had the opportunity, you made the things. So I appreciate yeah. that a lot. So thank you for that. Thank Are you. Are más chicos? Ya están todos, ¿verdad? La mayoría, creo. Me, teacher. Okay, Michi. <laughs> um... It has been a great experience in each class. Uh, each one has been essential to obtain more uh, knowledge. <laughs> and the staff is highly trained to teach us. Uh, the teacher is creative. <laughs> that allows us to function in the classes and experience us to continue learning. Each of the topics that are in this model and will be identical 
Thank you, Teacher Bunny, for your patience. <laughs> I wait learning more. Thank you. And I like that you are excited to be learning more. No, that is the idea that you guys want to know more about language. So you're good, you know, you are good. Uh, you are a little bit shy, but when I tell you, okay, speak, you spoke. So that is the idea, right? That you also fell in confidence and trust and comfortable with the class. And if you remember, you to ask, so you told me, I identified the topics. That is amazing. Okay, so thank you. Again, más chicos que me falte? All right. Okay. Bien, chicos. Eh, eh, bien, chicos. Uh, yo siento que, como les dije desde un principio, y se lo puedo decir eso en español, cuando yo les dije que iban a aprender, yo les dije, o van a aprender de tres maneras. O aprenden por el miedo que yo les voy a provocar, o aprenden por la, y aprenden porque van a decir, pues puya, voy a estudiar porque qué va a hacer la teacher mañana, o qué va a decir la teacher mañana, o qué es lo que ahora me va a poner a hacer. O número tres, porque ustedes quieren aprender. So, si alguno de ustedes utilizó cualquiera de esos tres métodos y les sirvió para aprender, yo me siento satisfecha con eso. Right? Um, yo de verdad les he visto la mejor a todos. Hay algunos que al principio no me decían nada. Y si bien es cierto, alguien me dijo, yo pensé que íbamos a hablar mucho más o que íbamos a llevar un mejor nivel. Pero también, chicos, recuerden, solo tengo clases con ustedes de lunes a jueves, solo es una hora en el día que le, que le invierten. Sé que a algunos le quisiéramos invertir más, pero no podemos por el trabajo, pues, por universidades, eh, algunas, pues, acá Jessica es, eh, ma, eh, acaba de ser mamá. So, yo sé que también todas las cositas demandan mucho tiempo, right So, um, sí, espero que la mayoría de los que veo acá son personas que aprovecharon el nivel. Yo me di cuenta, estaban en clase, preguntaban, hablaban, me mandaban tareas, los felicito por haber mandado tareas también. Creo que son el primer grupo que de verdad se mata, se mata mandando las tareas y que me las mandaban on time, me preguntaban. So that is pretty good because I, I feel like we made a good engagement between us. Siento que sí nos supimos llevar, siento que sí les gustó. Y de verdad les recomiendo que no se queden atrás, o sea, reinscríbanse. Eh, los compañeros igual, pues yo es muy difícil que me lo tengan ustedes, pero los compañeros son súper buenos, cada quien usa su método, a mí siempre me da miedo el hecho de agarrar un nuevo grupo les soy honesta, porque mi método es totalmente diferente, ustedes creo que ya se echaron el rollo, ¿verdad? como decimos en el buen salvadoreño que yo creo que en ningún momento les puse, vaya, acá está la pizarra, vamos a hacer tal ejercicio no, o sea, para mí me importaba el speaking, y that you practice because that was my thing because I can be telling you Llena la plataforma. Les voy a ayudar a llenar la plataforma. No, porque pierdo tiempo. Tiempo valioso en el que van a practicar. So, por eso yo no lo hago así. So, siempre que agarro un grupo nuevo, a, ma, a mí me da pena y me da hasta nervios porque es como juela y si no le gusta mi método. O tengo a veces personas muy mayores que sí les están muy acostumbradas al método anterior. Pero creo que a veces salir de la comfort zone es súper bueno porque creo que rompen esa onda de decir, tengo miedo de hablar y de nada me servía a mí ponerme que los mismos de siempre me, me hablaran y que yo quiero hablar, teacher, yo quiero hablar, teacher. A mí no me sirve eso, porque necesito que todos tratemos de llevar el mismo depth. So that is why I gave you the opportunity to be like, okay, I'm going to do this and break up rooms. Uh, you have this practice, let's go debate, let's make this, let's make that. Hubiera querido tener más tiempo y más permisos para hacer ciertas cosas como películas y demás, pero yo siento que la verdad fue provechoso para ustedes si les di la mejor a la mayoría. Sí, mis gracias. Ay, perdón que la, que la interrumpí, pero sí, yo le quiero dar las gracias. Es un método muy bonito el que usted tiene, porque como usted dice, lo pone a uno a trabajar. No es como que hay, bueno, vamos a la clase el siguiente día y esperando la hora de clase, pero no tenemos nada como para enviar una tarea ni nada. Entonces, con usted al menos, el poquito tiempo que nos quedaba, este, estudiábamos un ratito porque yo es eh, mentira, no le mandaba bien las, no me quedaba chance de hacer tanto las tareas porque me complico yo mucho, yo me complico mucho porque no lo entiendo mucho, pero mi persistencia ahí está mis, y yo le agradezco sí. mucho la paciencia de usted hacia nosotros y el Ay, método que utilizó es excelente. Ay, pues. me alegra chicos, me alegra que les guste, el método es raro, a veces hay personas que me han dicho, he tenido no compañeros de aquí, obviamente, sino compañeros de la universidad que han visto mis clases y me dicen, 
ay no, pero o sea, y de verdad te aprenden los chicos, y de verdad, porque o sea, solo los pones a que hablen, les pones a que hagan cosas bien locas, me decían, ¿cómo lo vas a poner a hacer esta activity? A que hablen de su dream job, a ellos en qué le va a servir. Pero yo les decía, la clase no me sirve a mí de nada que sea aburrida. Ustedes tienen que romper el cerebro y tienen que utilizar esta clase también como una distracción, como un poquito de bajón del estrés, right So that is the yeah. thing, guys. You have to try to, to make the thing, ¿sí? Ya me voy, chicos, pero Jadina, Karina, rapidito. Teacher, uh, le iba a decir así, this is the time to cry. Ah, yes. Sí, siempre lloro. Yo, yo ahorita ya me voy a deprimir en la noche porque yo siempre me deprimo cuando termino con un grupo. Ajá, Muchas gracias. gracias. Siempre le digo, chicos, con nosotros. Siempre le digo, chicos, que eh, mis, o sea, yo siempre los quiero tener. Yo siempre me encariño mucho de mi grupo, de mis chicos. Siempre igual que necesiten preguntarme o algo, o sea, solo díganme, teacher, hola, soy tal persona, ayúdeme. Y siempre que yo tenga el tiempo lo voy a hacer, se lo juro chisme, me hablen de whatever, ustedes tienen mi número, it's fine. Y siempre les digo, yo siempre quisiera tenerlos, pero más me dan ganas de tenerlos y que me lo den cuando ya estén ustedes en avanzado y que ya está hablen más. Porque digo, ok, siguieron, se esforzaron y llegaron hasta ahí, ahí ya los agarro yo a puro where, where, where. So I want, if I don't have you in the process, I want to have you when you already made it. So I can help you to improve that, ok? Si necesitan cualquier cosa, chicos, en lo que les pueda ayudar con el idioma, eh, igual avísenme, clases privadas, lo que necesiten, en lo que quieran apoyo, con todo el gusto del mundo. Ok, guys, so Thank it has you. been a pleasure to be with you. I'm very proud of all of you. I hope you have a very nice evening. Take care y sigan metiéndole. No se, no se queden atrás, ok? Thank you. Miss. Gracias, you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Cuídense. Muchas gracias, Miss. Thank you. Ya saben, gracias a ustedes, chicos. Bye.